Seeds. In this module, you will learn about seeds. It's Sunday morning, and Sid is curious about what his mother is up to. Let's go and join them. Mama, what are you doing? Sid, I'm about to sow these seeds. Oh, let me do this, Mama, please. Okay. Oh yes, these seeds will soon grow into plants. Sid, and you all know that seeds grow into new plants. Let us learn more about seeds. Seeds are present within the fruit of a plant. Some fruits like mango and lychee have only one seed, whereas fruits like papaya and watermelon have many seeds. Let us now learn about the structure of a seed. The outermost part of a seed is called the seed coat. It is a covering that protects the inner parts of the seed. Now see the inner side of the seed carefully. You can see the seed leaves that are called cotyledons. Seeds of some plants have two cotyledons. Such seeds are called dicotyledonous seeds or dicot seeds. Such seeds can split into two equal halves. Seeds of mango and apple are dicotyledonous seeds. In between the two cotyledons, we can see a tiny structure attached. This tiny structure is called the baby plant or the embryo. An embryo can grow into a new plant. Unlike dicot seeds, there are seeds of some plants that have just one cotyledon. Such seeds are called monocotyledonous seeds or monocot seeds. Such seeds cannot split into two equal halves. Seeds of wheat, grass and paddy are monocotyledonous seeds. Let's recap. Seeds grow into new plants and are present in the fruit of a plant. The structure of a seed includes seed coat, one or two cotyledons, embryo or the baby plant. Seeds with two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. Seeds with one cotyledon are called monocotyledonous or monocot seeds.